Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. Hey, I want to thank everybody. Everybody out there for you guys' support, man. That helped me out a bunch. Really did. Really made me realize how lucky I was to have such a good friend for so long and how many new friends I got all around the world. Uh, really helped me pull through it. Now guys, we got one more mission to do. We got to help John's wife. Uh, unfortunately, he was not expecting to go so soon and uh, did not leave his wife so well. Okay, uh, didn't have no insurance. She's getting his last check Friday. And that's about it. <laughs> I feel so bad for her. So, uh, we're gonna, I'm going to help her uh, sell us some of his stuff. We got to get rid of his jets and stuff. Uh, you know, uh, she needs the money. I wish I could buy them all. I can't do it. Uh, I want to buy his trailer really bad. And I think I'm going to be able to swing it. Um, but what I think I'm going to do, she wants me to handle all, uh, all his airplane stuff. And uh, what I'd like, kind of like to do is maybe get an auction going here in YouTube land, you know, uh, I want to go get this stuff this weekend and show, you know, he's got that brand new Fly Eagle F-18, got one flight on it, P-200, that's a bad boy right there. You know, we can't give this stuff away, but we can make it reasonable. Uh, what we can also do is offer a 90-day payment plan on a couple of these big ticket items uh, just to kind of help you guys and it, it would help Char and um, it maybe help get rid of them, you know, on, you know, 90 days is 90 days. Uh, you know how that goes, same way on RC Universe. If you, you know, uh, you don't pay for it 90 days, you, you lose it, you know, and uh, I've done it a couple times, I've never had to do that though, but it helps on a lot of these big ticket items. He's got the Cougar. You know, we got that Cougar flying good, man. And that'll be a reasonably priced jet. You know, he didn't have a whole lot in it. And that'll be reasonably priced, ready to go. He's got, a, you know, a 10X transmitter. He's got a giant B-25, people, a Zeroli. Uh, he's got two brand new DA-55s on it and hasn't even flown it since he put them on there. Uh, it's got Robar uh, wheels and brakes. Yeah, they're nice expensive ones. And brakes, you know, it's got the big six inch tires and brakes and uh, it's really set up nice. And he hasn't even flown it since he put the new motors on it. And it's got the machine guns, man. It's got the pilots and the machine gunners. A Little bit of weathering, a uh, little bit of hanger rash, not bad. It's, uh, you know, it's an older plane, but still in great shape. Makes so nice for you. He's got a couple of them little electric tanks. He's got that uh, Volkwolf. That's a good flying plane right there, baby. You know, I know you, so, a lot of people was asking about donations, and uh, <coughs> maybe, you know, we can set up, you know, if you want to donate something, you know, uh, offer a good price for it. Some of his small stuff even. He's got a lot of small stuff. We need to get over here to pedal it off. What a, you know, she, she can't have that stuff around there. She's got to move before long. Um, yeah, John stayed in an apartment complex. He was a maintenance manager at an apartment complex. Well, he got free rent. Well, the bad thing is when he's not working, I mean, he's, they got to go. And, I, you know, they ain't going to give her the boot like in the month, I don't think, you know. John's worked there for 30 some years, but uh, you know, she's gonna have to pay rent or move. And if she, you know, even if she stays there, she really likes staying there, she's gonna have to move to a smaller apartment and she just don't need to haul John's stuff around. So a lot of this smaller knickknack stuff, what I think I'll do is I'll uh, uh, put a lot of it in boxes, okay? And just a box of stuff. You know, we'll go through the boxes, 
And John's got some good junk over there. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna miss him. But uh, I'm just grateful I had him for a friend for so long. And uh, truck on. I know what you know. What John be saying? Quit whining and get to work. <laughs> Uh, so we got a truck on people, the world's still going to move, and uh, we got to help Char out, you know, so I'm going to do everything I can to uh, help her get rid of this, you know, John stuff, and uh, you know, it's, she don't need to haul it around, and uh, so it'd be an opportunity, you guys want to, you know, several people said they wanted to, you know, I was asking about donations. Well, maybe this is a way you can get something for your donation, even if it, you know, if it's something you don't want, maybe it's something you can pass on to someone learning how to fly. You know, he's got a couple of foamies, I think, and uh, some other stuff. But we need to uh, help her get rid of it. And uh, if you know anyone looking for a jet, man, this Fly Eagle's a nice jet. Got a P200 in it. And that thing... It's ready to roll, baby. I mean, all we got to do is charge them batteries and gas it up. I put it together so you won't need to fix nothing. Same way on that Cougar, man. We got, we're got we getting 10-minute flights out of that thing now. We started out with four minutes. You know, Bill hooked us up with them tanks. And uh, we're getting 10-minute flights out of it. That thing has the best taking off and landing jet I've ever flown in my life, people. I mean, it really is. Full flat, full speed brake, about three clicks of throttle. Grease job every time. Uh, flies nice, we got it flying good. It's a nice jet, I wish I could keep it. I built that thing, and uh, but I can't, I can't buy it. And, uh, so we gotta pass it on. And someone that's gonna appreciate it and uh, give it a good home, put lots of flights on it. I'll even sign some of this stuff if you want. We'll put my little signature somewhere in there. <laughs> That's what it takes, baby. But I'm going to get back to work. You know, I got a world still turning, baby. We got to roll. You know, I still got a deadline to meet. I want to show you guys this thing I made, though. That thing is uh, solid Bondo. I took that big old hunk of Bondo on there. Uh, let me see what it's called. That's my website, buddy John. I'll call you right back, John. But I took that big old hunk of Bondo, okay, when it was just starting to go off, when it was still hot, I popped it off, just popped right off. Came over here, flipped it upside down, I could see them panel lines. Trimmed most of it right then and there, vroom, vroom, vroom. And then just sanded this round and primed her up, put me some double face tape on it. And uh, I think it's going to make a nice little gum pork there. I'm ready to lay one up Monday. We're going to lay one of these bad boys up. And uh, we're going to keep rolling. You know, I'm going to miss old John. I'm going to miss talking to him on the phone. We talked on the phone almost every day. Most of the time, three or four times a day. <laughs> And he was just my buddy, man. I'm gonna miss him. You know, I got lots of stories. I'll share some of them stories with you. We got some fishing stories. We got some flying stories. We'll keep old John's memory hanging around for a while. And uh, so that's what I got going. I'm gonna get to work probably tomorrow. So I'll get back on the videos. And. Uh, Remember, all you guys, if you're looking in the market for a jet, uh, this weekend. Okay, I'll know more probably Friday. Oh, the viewing's going to be at Hillside Mortuary, Saturday from 9 in the morning till 5 in the afternoon. And uh, there's not really going to be a service. I, don't, I think money's the issue on the service. They're just going to, I thought that was kind of strange, but... Uh, you know, that's on our hands, and uh, so anyone wants to pop in for the viewing, uh, Hillside Mortuary, Saturday, 9 to 5, I'll even let you know what time I'm going to be there Friday. So we'll see you back in the shop, St. Bob time, 
same Bob Station.